Right, so I'm at Wharton Park Hotel tonight, and this is what you get for 92.50. So oh, let's go and have a look. Right then, so this is the room. So this is what we get tonight. So I've actually got a deluxe room. It's the only one they had left. So yeah, this is what you get. And apparently this is a deluxe family room. Well, I don't see no family extra beds or anything, so I'm not really sure they get rid of this, maybe, I don't know. But straight away we've got a nice super king size bed, which is great to see. I love these lamps, they look really good. Uh, loads of space in here. Some different uh, artwork on the wall there. Now it's a good thing with this room, it's got air conditioning. And it's sort of got a balcony-ish. This skylight in front actually opens up so you can stand out. I'll show you that in a second. Looking around the room, we've got a nice bag stand and a lamp there as well. And then I've got a decent desk. Now you do do free Wi-Fi here, so I'll check that out in a bit, see if it's actually any good. So this hotel is actually run by the club company, uh, which is the same chain that own Woodbury Park near Exeter. So um, they specialise in owning golf courses. And then I think the hotel is all like a bit of an add-on. Right, so what have we got in these drawers? So we've got a hairdryer, and then below is just a couple of drawers. So I can see that drawer's coming off actually. So it needs a bit of maintenance there. But it's pretty clean in here. Decent carpet all the way through, it does feel quite thick. Right, what else have we got? Well, as I said before, we've got the aircon on top. It feels really good. I've only just checked in, but it's already cooling down. We've got a couple of blankets on top. We've got the iron and ironing board, which is good because there is no 24 hour reception. So, yeah, it's good that I don't have to run around the hotel and ask one. And we've got loads of unstealable hangers there. I did think this was something. It's actually just to cover up the uh, um, you know, switches and whatever else. Trip box, that's the word. Right, what else do we get? Well, we get tea and coffee as always. We've got Borders biscuits, decent hot chocolate, there's coffee bags, I love these, these are great, brilliant invention, just like a tea bag but coffee, and then we've got loads of different teas, so we've got green tea, earl grey tea, and then four of the Taylor's English breakfast, so there's plenty there for us to use, loads of milk, until they took the time to arrange them properly, tea, uh, all the sugars there as well, and we've got cups facing the right way around and better still they're on coasters so we know they're clean we even got the spoons on coasters as well so happy days i'm happy with that one but we all want to know is the kettle clean tonight let's have a look yes it is spotless absolutely brilliant and they also give us some water so yeah just tap water i think well are you bothered happy days Right, what else have we got? Well, we've got a really nice bathroom. And there's a safe down there, actually, I just, just noticed. So, yeah, this bathroom's really nice. Nice, big, wet room-style bathroom. So, one thing you can tell straight away, though, really dark in here. So, I've actually had to switch this light on for this mirror just to brighten it up a bit. There's only two lights, and the spotlights are nowhere near the mirror. So, it's rather dark, but nice, isn't it? I like the design of the tiles, textured effect. Is there any pressure tonight? Let's have a look, let's just point that out of the way so I don't get wet. Pressure's there, just let's see if it warms up or not. But they do give us some uh, free soap on the wall there, so yep, yeah, that's warm that. And then if you turn it the other way, we've got the other shower as well. So happy days. The only thing is with these wet rooms, they look great, but you always end up with water everywhere. So unless you're actually using the shower and then leave it, this bathroom is going to be soaking. That's the only negative. So this thing, you can just wave it underneath and it'll turn your hand or turn it on and off. So you don't actually have to press any buttons. So I do like that. And I like how the soap is actually separate. It's a proper bottle, not one of these stupid ones they're going to mess about with on the wall. And, it goes everywhere but doesn't really go where you want it to. We've got storage down here with extra 
toilet roll and I think what's that one? Uh, shower cap I think and some more towels so nice so let's go and have a look at the view so this you've got a nice bit of a seating area here so there's four seats here brilliant and then this V looks window opens up so that's it open you got a view straight onto the golf course really nice view look at that bit of a water feature there as well nice like it you got an outside seating area they do serve food here but they shut really early so apparently they st stop serving food at six and the bar shuts at half seven so you can tell it's a hotel second it's not really a hotel as such it's more a golf course with rooms but not complaining so this Velux window really does have a decent black outline, so I can't see anything in here. So, brilliant, I'm happy with it. So, although this hotel is really clean, I have noticed all the way around the room, there's loads of marks all over the walls. So, obviously it's not cleanliness, but this is down to maintenance, so there's scuffs all over the walls. All the way down here as well, I don't know if it picks up on the camera. Um, but your eye is just drawn to it. So, I try and say things how I see them. Um, yeah, well, let's turn that lamp on. You can see his marks there, marks all the way down this wall. And then when we go over here, we've got more marks down this, this wall here, and then some more all the way at the back there. So I think what needs to happen in here is just a lick of paint. And maybe if they stay, painted it with like a silk instead of an emulsion. That way, when something gets wet or marked, you can just wipe it off. So yeah, maybe a tip from there. But apart from that, pretty happy. So I'm also happy to see that there's plug sockets right by the bed too. So really good to see both sides as well. So we can charge the phone straight away, no issues. So the bar is shut. Everything's shut when it looks like. when you check in there's this little book here and this this pack sorry it's got everything in it that you need to know so it's even telling you when the dining's shut there's some local restaurants there it's got the wi-fi code in it uh, and about how we get in and out as well nearby attractions so if you're staying here it's right near west midland safari park uh oh, i think it's west midland safari Park. it's not it's one of them anyway they're right near it uh, and then this is the main menu for the food that they serve in on site prices are all right so you've got like burgers 11.95 with chips um 9.95 for ham and eggs pastas 9.95 it's all pretty cheap um it's what i find with these golf clubs is they can't fill the rooms and everything's really cheap at them they're looking amazing at the outside and the bit where they make the money is the golf and the tournaments they have the events and the rooms are just a bit of an afterthought so you always get a cheap hotel really so this is the Wi-Fi speeds that you get into this is your download speed. Um, so straight away this is faster than what you get at Premier in Ultimate. Still not ridiculously quick, but this is more than acceptable. You'll be able to watch uh, videos on this uh, and stream things as well. So happy days. Um, and I don't have to pay an extra for this. So nothing wrong with that. So this is your reception. This is where you check in. So if you turn up here late, you've got to get in via this hotel entrance here. So you're a bit knackered if you come here late, aren't you? Let's go and have a look at that now. So there is a night porter on. But yeah. I've got to ring him on a mobile number. It's not the best situation. And that's for internal calls only. Next to this generator. But whoa, look at this around the back. Isn't this nice? See, I've got a golf shop up there. A bit of a bar area, but I think you have to be a member for that. 
And there's your golf course. Very nice. Just a shame that this is all shut at this time of night. It's really early, really. It's seven o'clock. And this is shut. So I didn't even know this place was here. I normally stay at the Bronze Grove around the corner. Um, well, not too far away from here. But a subscriber let me know, so thanks for that. Not a bad little place, really. So this is a picture of it behind. So I'm staying up there in that one. I'm sorry, that one there, yeah. And then these are the other rooms with the balconies. Slash v Lux windows. Not bad, really. It's all well kept here. Bloody massive. Yeah, it's a bit of a on, on the camera. Yeah, the lighting's not the best. And this is where you would come for your outdoor seating in your bar slash restaurant. Yeah, it's a shame there's not more rooms because this probably would stay open. And there's the, the balconies that you can see. All pretty good. Yeah, not bad. So you can book direct or you can book on booking.com. So I had a look on the website um, and the price that was quoted was massively different to what I was getting if I just rung up and asked. So yeah, that's what I did. I'll include a screenshot of um, the price online. Um, yeah, so much better just to ring up direct and book it over the phone and that way you actually get to speak to someone and you know what you're getting don't you right then so next day now and unfortunately i didn't sleep that well um this bed it's like it curves down in the middle like that i don't think these mattresses are too good and not just that it is two singles to push together so this bit in the middle is rock hard so you really can just feel the big lump. So yeah, not not too happy about that. And I take back what I said about the aircon. All it does is just make noise. So there's no cold air coming out at all. I've just resulted to opening the window. But the shower was really good. And it's all very clean. So I would stay again, but I just wouldn't stay in this room. I just I'd I'd want one with just a normal double bed. So I've seen this place as low as £67 for the night. So, pretty good. Um, and that was for a basic double, which is still quite nice actually, but unfortunately that's just all they had left. So, checking in last night, that was a right weird affair. So when we checked in, uh, you go up to the window and there's like a, a sign in front of it saying reception's closed, go to the bar. So I went to the bar and uh, the bar woman come back and then we had to stand half in the office um, and then half outside so they're all a bit weird really really what should have happened is they should have opened the, the uh, blind that was there and uh, served us from the blind so yeah I'm not, I'm not sure about that it was a bit of an experience um, it would have took two minutes to roll the blind up and just go from there but that didn't happen also when I put my card in, so normally uh, you put your card into a machine, you pay on your card or they do a pre-auth, that's fine. But she actually wanted my physical card to get the details off um, and then it was paid online. Just all a bit weird, I've never had this before. I stay in hotels every day and I've never had that. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It's a food menu, so what I find with all these golf hotels is uh, people who stay here are just too tight. So everything's really cheap. So you wouldn't find these prices anywhere else, but because it's golf, this is what it is. It's all plated, so I've gone for uh, orange juice, tea, and I've had a bowl of cereal. And then I've got club breakfast coming. So club breakfast, happy day, so that's right for toast as well. Brilliant, can't wait, this looks lovely. Okay then, so that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you stay here, and is it worth the money? Bearing in mind that a premier inn around the corner was 120 without breakfast. I don't think it's too bad. 
so thanks for watching until the next one and if you've not subscribed already please do so because it really helped me out